What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of the Nutrient Showdown. Today, I got a quick update for y'all on one particular brand that's been acting up. It's causing some serious issues in the garden, and I'm about to show you exactly what's going wrong and how I'm fixing it. Plus, I made some major upgrades to the aeroponics system, and that could be a game changer. Lock in. So we're wrapping up week two of the showdown, and most of the clones are looking straight fire. Lush, dark green, and thriving. Except for one, the Remo Nutrients box is starting to fall behind. And that's kind of a big deal, because when you're testing nutrients head to head, you want consistency. The first issue, the leaves are turning yellow with crispy brown edges. That is an early veg nightmare. It's a clear sign these plants are starving for nitrogen, and nitrogen is crucial at this stage. Without it, the growth stalls. Then, things got even worse. I started noticing yellowing between the veins on the middle leaves with brown spots creeping in. That's not just nitrogen deficiency, that's a classic cow mag deficiency creeping up too. Calcium and magnesium are also critical at this stage, and without them, you get weak stems, slow growth, and poor nutrient uptake. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I've always had problems with Remo's Magnifical. The main issue is, <laughs> it's weak as hell. The instructions call for six milliliters per gallon, which is a massive amount compared to the legendary OG CalMag Plus, which only needs two milliliters per gallon. So that means this stuff is way more potent and higher concentrated. And from what I can tell, both products have the exact same ingredients. So why use more of something that costs more and works the same? That's bad efficiency, bad economics, and bad growing. If you've had similar issues with Remo, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear if y'all are seeing the same thing. Now these plants are really gonna take off because CalMag plus Remo means explosive growth. I just wanted to be fully transparent about what I'm feeding. And I'm bumping it up to week four nutrients and raising the PPMs to 500 across the board. That's gonna speed up growth and knock out these deficiencies. Flowering is right around the corner, and I wanna make sure these plants are dialed in before we flip them over. <coughs> now, I also made some huge upgrades to the aeroponic system, and this might be the biggest change yet. Each box now has its own high pressure misting pump for that true high pressure aeroponic experience. So instead of the roots sitting in that warm nutrient water all day, now the nutrient water gets drained back to a cool reservoir. That means faster growth, healthier plants, and zero wasted nutrients. This setup is next level and I can't wait to see the impact it has over the next few weeks. Drop a like and subscribe if you're hyped to see more, because the next episode is coming up right after this.